Does a free press support democracy? Democracy is a form of government that depends on participation. People exercise political power by electing representatives. To make the best decisions, people need access to reliable information. People learn or consume information through the media by watching TV shows and videos, reading newspapers and books, and through websites and social media. But who decides what people can say in the media? In the United States, the First Amendment protects freedom of expression. This includes freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly, and freedom of petition. There are many positive aspects of freedom of expression. It means you have the right to express your opinions, even if they are critical of the government or powerful people. In a country where there is freedom of expression, it is important to have reliable news sources that tell people what is going on in the world. This encourages civil dialogue. That is, when people talk about the issues that affect them and listen to the ideas of those who may have opposite opinions. It also encourages opportunities for collaboration when people get together to solve problems. And it puts pressure on government to act responsibly. But there are also negatives to freedom of expression. When people have the right to freedom of speech, they are also free to exaggerate or lie. The media can also spread false information. This misinformation can shock or confuse people into taking a particular point of view. And sometimes the media can reflect a bias or the way a person sees the world, which sometimes means not considering or acknowledging different viewpoints, making it harder for people to know the truth. You can exercise your right to freedom of expression by seeking out different news sources and listening carefully to what they have to say. So, what do you think? Does a free press support democracy? <laughs>